good luck. Welcome back. We're in week 196 or something like that of the teaching ladder, where we get to play a higher rated opponent and a lower rated opponent and review the game afterward. That's a fun format. I recommend other people try it. So, um, yeah, I'm the underdog in this match. I might not be commenting a whole lot until the game concludes, but we'll still try to have fun. Uh, huh. I forgot that he does this. Hmm. Yeah, generally he's always left open the possibility of playing this opposing rook strategy. Um, the problem is I only play one castle, so that doesn't leave me spoiled for choice here. Hmm. Welcome. Thanks. I'll need it. If nothing else, hopefully I can make my opponent think.
There's a fork here, isn't there? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, this is so bad. This could be worse. <clears throat> oh. This simply promotes... I forgot that the pawn doesn't have to get this far up to promote. Interesting. Um, yeah. I forgot pawns promote on this rank. I was not joking when I said I'll need luck to win this. Um, interesting. Okay. Well, how do I attempt to make this uh, a fair game? Um. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I've got to start by not hanging everything. And to hang everything, I would need to keep my pieces in this fork shape. Oh, but now they take my silver instead of my gold. Okay. Um. That's only a bishop, though. But no, I thought they would take the gold... They did take this gold. Had they taken a silver instead, they'd have a fork of two hanging pieces. Instead, I'm just in a universe of trouble, but not in a fork. Um, yeah, this is going to be a one-sided affair. Or so it seems. sucks that my king is preventing the rook from promoting. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this is not great. The follow up is just bring the knight in. Although the knight does block the other pieces. Another potential follow up is gold takes silver. Um. Hmm. Oh, I had an idea planned here, but it doesn't even remotely work. Um, plan B is going to have to be... No, if I take the knight, I get mated. That's not great. Uh, if I go here, I lose a piece. If I go there, it's no good. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. Hmm. 
Is there a road to recovery here? I could drop a pawn? That doesn't help. Hmm. I could take the knight and then drop a pawn. That still doesn't help because I get made at the next move. Um... I could block the bishop. Bishop takes, and then what? I could attack the bishop and it runs back and I've achieved nothing. I could block the bishop, bishop takes, I could move my silver to hit the bishop. This is my best defense, and it's not even remotely good. Um, yeah, all right, we'll just end the suffering there. Thanks for the game. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> wow, all right. So yeah, this is an exciting teaching <laughs> Oh god, that's... Uh, yeah, I... Uh, well, we'll spend more time with the review, I assume, than with the game. Yeah, that hurts just a touch. There's really nothing I could do to... Yeah. Alrighty then. So, yeah. Uh, obviously, this opposing rook thing... Mm. <sighs> uh, last time I played Mino, Castle, and I think I lost. Mino is playable, but um oh welcome. Yeah. It, yeah, if, I could put this on the large board for everyone's benefit if that would help out. I didn't... Uh, now I see that you are in this uh, chat room, too. Yo, welcome. Uh, yeah. That was... Uh, uh, he's played the... Uh, Gaston has played this against me before. And, um, yeah. I've not fared super well against it. So today I tried something different. And just got absolutely smashed. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I could play Mino Castle like I used to play. <laughs> yep, we've got the translation bot. In case we ever get an international audience, we are so prepared. Um, we even have... Um, closed captions available for the live broadcast, if they're that sort of folk here, too. I think I played the opening decently, despite not... I don't know. Like, I built right Yagra, but um, it just collapsed, because it just was not meant to play against right fourth file, or against this fourth file attack. And I never got my attack off the ground. So I've, like, terribly misplayed something. I think my left silver was a bit late. Okay. Yeah, I could maybe start around move 22 sometime around here. Like, I don't have to build this elaborate castle and tuck my king into it here. Because we haven't exchanged bishops. This isn't a bishop exchange opening. So I could just play like this and not make this big gap that allows a fork right next to my bishop and rook. So, like, this is one opportunity, but I'm sure there are quite a few opportunities to play something like this. Um, yeah. I don't think... 
I mean, other than just strategically not having a really good understanding of what was going on, and um, I missed a rather enormous tactic on this file. Um, it's not like what I played is completely unplayable. It's just I can't walk into every single tactic like that uh, and expect to uh, win. Oh, that's right. Okay. That's still quite strong, isn't it? I guess this is why I wish could maybe favor, like, Kimuso or something. Because this castle doesn't fare well against the attack on the fourth file here. I don't have a counterattack for this. Um, I mean, I could consider this, but it's insane. Yeah. Uh, okay. Alternatively, maybe I just bring the rook up to try to deal with this, but it's still not enough. Like, I'm playing as Gotas, so I'm already down one tempo. But this, this whole attack is just so strong. I don't have a way to stop it. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, maybe add the silver into the defense. So, um, yeah, I could build, like, this way and maybe move the center pawn and defend the fourth file here. <sighs> yeah, I mean, that looks like a good idea. Oh, even defending just 5-3? Okay. Mm, defending 5-3 with the rook. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Also, when he pushes on the edge here, I know that's a good endgame move, that he's built up all this pressure. I don't know if there's middle game tactics uh, that also use the edge pawn. Um, yeah. Not 5-3 with the rook. Okay. Ah, yeah, a lateral defense with the rook. Oh, and the silver covering 5-3. Okay, so yeah, something like this. Okay. It's good to know. And if they push on 6-5 um, over here... Yeah, I can't leave the pawn tension because then things then the rook opens up and it's just a disaster. So I have to take on that occasion. Obviously, there's silvers like here supporting that, and they've got the rook over, bishop, bishop up, and knight out, and like they have all that. But they push six five. I take it there uh, and fight on the file here. Um, something like that. I don't know, I pushed this. Oh, I'm sorry. Good catch. So, okay, that's why this happens first. Okay, that's good to know. Or potentially the silver stays back when the, this moves, but then, like, this attack is a bit slower. Um, my rook's not doing a great job up here, and sometimes could be the target of a silver attack, but then the silver's got to retreat to do anything useful. Um, so it just stays here, I guess. Yeah, I apologize that I don't really know what to ask about. Um, it's kind of self-evident what happened this game. Uh, it was... You played well, and I allowed many strategic and tactical resources that I didn't... Even with this lance move, um, yeah, I blocked both of my pieces. Gold 5-4 was the biggest blunder. Yeah, this was tragic.
This is so bad. Obviously, I'm reacting to this idea, but I made the situation a thousand times worse with my gold 5-4 move. And there's just no coming back from it. Um, this is still painful, but, um, you know, I live. Uh, gold 5-4, I don't. Because <laughs> uh, I had forgotten, incredibly, that upon promotes on this rank... Um, I thought I had another rank to go. And so seeing this, I uh, just... Yeah, there's nothing I can do here. Um, this is well played. Sorry I don't know what else to ask about. Like, usually with these teaching games, there's a whole lot going on. And there was a whole lot going on. You prepared well for this, and I didn't. Um, and... Yeah, I just don't know what to ask or say, other than it was a good lesson. <laughs> yeah, I almost bluffed you, I guess, so maybe I need a better poker face. Um, or maybe I need to prepare better for these games. Sorry about that. It was good fun, though, wasn't it? And then viewers will get to see this, and it'll be a good lesson for everyone watching the game. Um, I mean, the other silly point was I walked into a fork over here and I was freaking out about it. Oh, this is even worse than I thought. Jeez. Holy crap, I missed this. Um, so yeah, then this is a fork down here, but then separately there's this fork. So, uh, yeah. This is a cool game. Mmm. I see. Yeah, that'll motivate you to study openings properly. Yeah. And maybe a loss like this might motivate me to play a, uh, something I know and learn more things. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, it was fun. Um, the last couple teaching ladder games plus reviews took like over two hours. So it's nice having a change of pace, I guess. Um, yeah, sorry for making you waste your prep on me. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll do better next time. <laughs> um, is there anything you would care to look at? I could pass the hat over if you want. I don't know. It's a cool game. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe I should look at more WSL games at some point. Awesome. Yeah, this is a good game. It hurts, but it's fun. <laughs> it's not like there's any money or... Uh, there's just rating points and pride on the line. But you see how much pride I have. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Well, cool. Uh, thanks. Uh, yeah, we'll probably meet again some future week, and maybe I'll have something better prepared next time. <laughs> cool. Um, so I wrap up each video with some conclusion. I don't know what to say on this. Um, yeah, if you are playing in the World Shogi League, uh, there's quite a few teams that uh, motivate and teach each other. Um, their teammates within the team will motivate each other. and um, So, uh, yeah, I guess that's an experience I can recommend to folks, even though I've not had time for it, but it's fine. Um but yeah, even if you don't do that, there's still the weekly teaching ladder. It's open to folks of all skills, including my skill. So um, I'll stop poking fun at myself eventually. Uh, yeah, so it's good fun. It's not super high commitment. Uh, if you miss games, that's fine too. But we do try to get games coordinated on the weekend or whenever it's convenient during the week. Um, and yeah, you get to learn a lot from just playing against 
people who are motivated to play somewhat serious games. So, uh, I guess I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.